This channel is made possible by viewers like you. My viewers, subscribers, and patrons greatly help to keep this channel going. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all of you. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, please check out my Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you'll get access to what I'm working on, previews of upcoming content, and even early videos, along with other tier options for those that are interested. Thank you, and now on to the video. So I just started playing Final Fantasy 16, and while I'm still very early with this title, I really like the start of this one. It is interesting with how Final Fantasy changes over the years. For most of its life, it seemed like it was all focused on turn-based combat. Then we hit a phase in the last few entries where it's more action-focused. 16 definitely feels like a title where it is split down the middle, with 50% of it playing it, and then 50% of it just watching cutscenes. Thankfully, the story stuff is rather good, but I could see this bothering some, and while I am early, early, it hasn't bothered me yet. It is very linear for its early hours, and I'm unsure if this opens up at all the further I go, but I pretty much enjoy everything I've experienced so far with it, from its gorgeous spectacle, story, and combat. It very much feels like a Japanese game developed with a setting that we would see from a Western title. Care to thin the herd? As if you have to ask. <laughs> The mainline entries to some extent have been trying to target more casual and new players to these games. We sort of saw this push with 13, especially with it releasing on multiple platforms, and with how linear it was. While I still really enjoyed that entry, it was one that slowly doled out mechanics, and I'm guessing to not overwhelm the player. But some stuff like party switching did not need to take as long as it did. Then you had some of the more convoluted nature to its story. 15 was another one that was supposed to be for both veterans and new players, but the game the game had a lot of multimedia related to its story, so for a new person jumping in, it's going to be very confusing, especially without all that additional knowledge from the other games, anime, and film. 16 so far, outside of being exposed to many factions and players at the start, seems to sort of hit that sweet spot better for being a game that could be the best way to start. At the same time, I am of the mind that if you're interested in Final Fantasy, pick one of the classic ones or one of the newer ones and just see what you think. It's a series I generally love, and one that I look forward to playing, along with many of its spin-offs. Life got in the way with this one, which is partially why I'm starting this one so late, but so far I really like 16. Uh, I think we've made it angry. I'd rather we made it die. Ah! 16's combat is an interesting one because you are just controlling Clive. You need to time your blocks appropriately and know when to deploy all these different moves. Like in many of the recent Final Fantasy games, your enemies have a stagger bar that you need to whittle down. Once down, the enemy is exposed and you can do a lot more damage. Something I notice is how the fights start off rather simple and it slowly adds on more things to consider. It doesn't really feel like the game is providing this overlong tutorial, but rather this feeling of compounding of things, so that you are now considering something new at different intervals. It helps to keep everything fresh. I have to mention the spectacle again. This game is a looker, especially with those cutscenes and some of the action taking place on screen. Plus, music-wise, this game does not disappoint either. I hope that the game continues to be better the more I play it, because so far it's got a really solid start, and it's really fun. Would you like to see more videos on Final Fantasy XVI? Have you played XVI at all yourself? Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. If you're interested in being notified of new videos, please hit the subscribe button and bell. And if you'd like to support the channel and get early access to content, please check out my Patreon. All of the links will be at the end of this video and within the description. And thank you very much for watching.